The evolution theory put forward in the 19th century by the naturalist Charles Darwin denies creation. This theory is a claim that all living creatures in the world evolved from one another by a series of coincidences. If we closely examine the features of all living things, it becomes clear to what extent Darwin's theory of evolution is delusional. There are two basic reasons for this. There are exceedingly complex systems and organs in the bodies of living things. It is impossible for these to have emerged at random and step by step, as evolution claims. These organs and systems show that life was perfectly created. The various creatures you have been watching in this film are a proof of this. The crabs and flounder, which possess special eye structures to enable them to observe what is going on around them even when they are buried in the sand. Octopuses, which possess special cells to enable them to blend in with their surroundings in an instant. Fish, which frighten their enemies with full size on their tail regions, and others are all products of wonderful design. It is impossible to account for these with a superficial explanation that they are the work of coincidence. When fossil evidence is examined, it is clear that the different species of living things suddenly appeared in the world in the same form that they exist in today, with no evolutionary link between them. The theory of evolution claims that there must be intermediate species between living species, but there are no traces of these. This also applies to underwater sea creatures. Fossil evidence shows that the oldest known species of fish in the seas appeared suddenly and fully formed, with their own distinct body plans. These fish bear no resemblance to invertebrate sea creatures which existed before them. Gerald Todd an evolutionary paleontologist sets out these unanswerable questions in his article titled Evolution of the Lung and the Origin of Bony Fishes. All three subdivisions of the bony fishes first appear in the fossil record at approximately the same time. They are already widely divergent morphologically and they are heavily armored. How did they originate? What allowed them to diverge so widely? How did they all come to have heavy armor? And why is there no trace of earlier intermediate forms? Sea animals have no ancestors because they did not evolve from other creatures. They were created in the form they still have today. Another group of undersea creatures which have put evolutionists into a quandary are the electric fish species. These creatures which can generate electricity and use it for defense, attack or communication are each a wonder of design. Some electric fish are able to generate up to 500 volts of electricity. Furthermore, beneath the Earth's oceans there exist different groups of electric fish with biological structures quite unique from one another. 
Evolutionists cannot begin to imagine an evolutionary link between these creatures. The subject of electric fish caused Charles Darwin, the originator of the theory, to think long and hard on the subject and led him to make a number of confessions. In a section of his book, The Origin of the Species, called The Difficulties on Theory, Darwin says the following. The electric organs of fishes offer another case of special difficulty. It is impossible to conceive by what steps these wondrous organs have been produced. The electric organs offer another and even more serious difficulty. For they occur in only about a dozen fishes, of which several are widely remote in their affinities. In fact, there are no end of Darwinian quandaries, because every creature beneath the sea possesses biological mechanisms that reveal the divine nature of its creation. An example of this is a type of rockfish which has a most particular method of hunting. It attracts its prey by waving a special organ attached to its head, which works much like a fishing rod. An archer fish, on the other hand, is such a master of geometry that it can calculate precisely the position of an insect it sees, even though the light comes refracted through the water. It catches its prey from water it spurts from its mouth. One species of fish living in the Amazon gets its prey by jumping more than a meter out of the water, again with a perfect calculation of angle and distance. All of these living things reveal to us one important truth. Each one is a living testament to he who created them. Each one is a work of art with complex organs, complicated systems, bodily structures, and completely unique colors and shapes. There is no doubt that every work of art bears witness to the artist who created it. And the miracle of creation under the sea reveals to us the wonder of God, Lord of the seas, the earth, the heavens, and all the universe. God's wonderful art of creation is recounted in a verse of the Quran. He is God the creator, the maker, the giver of form. To him belong the most beautiful names. Everything in the heavens and earth glorifies him. He is the almighty, the all-wise.